Okay. Um, hello, Sharon. Thank you very much for taking time out of your very busy day, which I know it's getting busier and busier at the moment, um, and taking time to chat with me. I uh, just want to interview you about your journey and how life has changed for you recently, and and just to show uh, other ladies that life isn't over when we're 45. Life, you know, as we get older, there is not, you know, it isn't just doors shutting in our face. That actually lots of doors are opening and we can make them open so um thank you very much for doing this and if you could just introduce yourself tell you a little tell us a little bit about you and and your business and what okay you're to share, what you're starting to change right okay well my name is sharon pinkerton my my actual business is bar eve canine services and it's predominantly dog training but i'm trying to specialize in puppy skills, anxious dogs, gun dog work, show dog training. They're the passion that I've got. So consequently, I, I find it more easier to concentrate on the, the areas that I'm more passionate about. Been a dog owner since a child, been training my own dog. So there's been a lot of skills I've learned over the years, which without realizing is, is, is a good foundation for this. So that's what I'm now planning to do. Excellent, excellent. And why did you decide, where, what, what place were you at and why did you decide to, to start working with me? Well, initially I saw the group on Facebook and I obviously had known you through the dog, so I, I automatically joined it, as you do, and, and started to read some of the posts and, and enjoyed reading them and the positivity. And, and then you offered a one-to-one a -one and it was at the time where we were still struggling in the winter a bit dark and dismal and i thought well what have i got to lose so we because had this that was your boarding kennel business not your not your training business not with training this was the boarding kennel business it's always dismal in the winter and and so it just had a bit of a, a downward uh, turn with everything really and and you offered this one-to-one -one and i thought well i've got nothing to lose so let's just do it i thought more it would be a way of just catching up to see how you were and where you were going. And I came away from that one-to-one -one with the confidence from what you were saying, with the knowledge that I'd built up, that I had disregarded as, as thinking anybody would ever want to know about it. It was just something that I had, had learned over the years, but nobody would ever want to know about it. And you had the skills to convince me that you could coach me from this so-called hobby business that I'd got at the time that I was thinking about and actually turn it into a proper business where I could feel confident to actually do the things I've been doing quietly for several years. But just not earning money out of it. Absolutely. No money at all. Just doing it. Giving freebies as Stuart keeps telling me. <laughs> <laughs> And, and when you started, decided to start working uh, with me and changing your life and starting to really change your business into something that you really love and, 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 and grow, um, what were you struggling with at, at that time? When we first chatted, what, what were you struggling with? I think it was just the, the lack of confidence and, and actually thinking that what I've learned over the years actually would mean, would be valuable to somebody, that somebody would actually want to share that. I'd, taking it for granted that it was all my experience and but nobody probably would want to know about it so it was it was just literally having that that um that confidence to knowing that somebody would be interested um and then having the plan to put it together um rather than just talk about it and and oh, i'll do it next week I'll, or as you say i'll try and and the word is is no longer in my vocabulary. I just don't try any, I do it now. And that's a big difference. I, I even go to say, I will try, no, no, I will do it. And it does make a difference. Yes, it really, really does. I think, I think um, somebody sort of work at A, highlighting the skills that you've got, which I think so many women just don't see themselves for what they really are, how brilliant they are and the skills that they've actually learned over the years. And they discount it and think that they're small and, not, and they're not significant to make a, a business out of. And actually that's, that's different, it's completely different. And I think it helps when somebody with fresh eyes come in, because I used to say to you, Sharon, <laughs> you've got so much behind you. And you go, have I? Um, <laughs> yeah. But I also think, 
it is the menopause as well that really does knock you for six. It really does. Having come before, before I went self-employed at 40, that's up to 40, I had a proper pay job with good money at the end of the month that I could do everything I wanted. And, and I took the charts. I looked out the window one day and just thought, I'm not doing this for the rest of my life. I would be poorer money-wise, but richer in life if I took a chance and went self-employed which was great until the menopause kicked in and then you do you do lose your confidence you do have your foggy brain moments um and so the the self-doubt does step in at that point and that's where you need somebody as you say from the outside looking in and saying stop it you you can do it you really can do it um so that has been a great help yeah. The menopause is still there, but you learn to push it to one side and say, you're no longer going to be ruling my life. This is my life and I'm going to do it. I think it's putting structures in that you can actually think, um, I, I can do this because there's steps to take rather than this huge thing that you need to conquer. And suddenly it's not this huge thing. There's just steps to take. Yeah, that's right. And that's what I found after doing the, the actual course with you is, is at the end of every week that we had the course, there was the list of things I had to do, which broke it down into things that were manageable. Um, whereas if you'd put all of those points down to start with, I would just looked at them and just gone, I can't do it. It's just too big a step. Yeah. And was there anything else? Uh, how did I resolve all your problems for you? How did you find it? Um, being able to resolve the overwhelm and those sorts of things that you had in the beginning was it just the steps or actually learning new skills it was everything really it was it was to do with the, the business skills that you were able to show show me what i needed to do from the the straightforward time blocking because i'm i'm a devil for that i really am i'll, I'll start off my day and think well i'm going to do this this and this but something will go wrong and then the whole thing goes out the window. But we're having that time blocking. I can get back onto schedule much quicker. And, and having the smaller achievable steps meant that I didn't get all the tasks done on some weeks, but it wasn't a big thing. I was still able to carry on with what you're saying because I could just go in a slightly different direction, tick a few more boxes and come back to the one thing that, that needed more work. It was, it was having all the skills whenever I hit a bit of a black spot or a couple of times I, I wasn't sure which was best, like, like my sort of strap lines. I sent you the two and said, what do they look like? And my bio and my brand, I, I, that really was a menopause moment because I couldn't get my head around as to which one I needed to be doing. And they, were, they just seemed to be exactly what you were saying, but worlds apart. So it's just having somebody to go, I think I've done it right. And, and you would say, well, no, you haven't. It needs to be like this. And, and off I would go again. Whereas if you didn't have that person that could look at it independently and you'd just say, oh, I can't do it. And then that's it. You'd walk away. Yeah. Yeah. And it's, yeah, it's, it's been held accountable, I guess. And yeah, yeah it's, just, it's just working with a team almost, isn't it? That, that, that isn't it? it just helps. It is a team. It is. It, it is as it's like you're. You are, you are my virtual business coach. You're not with me all the time, but I know if I really, really got stuck, you're just on the end of a message or an end of an email sort of thing. So instead of just getting to the point where I just think, well, I don't know what I'm doing, and then well, I might as well stop. I'll just fire you off and just say, help. What do I now do? I should I do it this way? Should I do it that way? And and you can look at it completely openly. From, from an outsider's point of view and say, that's the way you should do it. Yeah, and we had a set way of, of, of going through everything, of, of building your business. And, and how is all those steps that's been put in place? And, um, and I know you're in a much happier place personally because of it, but how has it just changed your life and how you view the future? It has changed my life and I have to say, Everybody is, is bemoaning the restrictions that have gone in because of the pandemic, but I've actually relished it because the boarding kennels have been quiet. And so this has been the absolute ideal time to do it. So I've, I've not, I've had the time to focus um, and, and do the things I've been told to do in the, in the order 
Um, there's still things, as I said, that, that is difficult. I'm still trying to build the audience and, and I've got my date in my mind for my first online course. And I still, there are doubts in the back of my mind thinking, well, nobody will buy it, but I'm thinking, stop it. One side, let's just do what we're supposed to do and let's just wait and see. But you, you'll always have those doubts. It's just how quickly you can push them aside and get yeah. back to the, the courage that you actually have got the skills to do it. And you have, you've just got so many skills. You've had a lifetime of dogs and you've so well respected in the dog world. You just didn't see it. You just didn't think, no. it, did you? Um, you just didn't think you were able to do it. And looking forward to the future, is your future since, um, since you started working with me and now you're looking into your future, does your future seem better or changed? Oh, or? Better, 100% better. 100% changed, absolutely, yes, yes. My boarding kennels are on the market and I can't wait for them to be sold so I can really, really walk away from that side which after nine years had been physically and mentally draining to concentrate on something that really I left work at 40 to do and found myself going in a slightly different direction because I felt I had to earn that sort of living because I hadn't got the, the skills or the courage to actually concentrate on my training, which is what I wanted to do some 18 years ago. And now finally, 18 years later, you're doing it, which, which just, yeah, but, but the, the fantastic thing is, Sharon, that it's showing other women that it's never too late that you can still go back to the dream that you wanted to do and and actually just say, look, I, I'm, I'm, I'm somehow not able to get to this place that I want to get to. But you have now, you've actually done it. And yeah. You've had some people booking for dog training already, haven't you? Yeah, I have. Yes, I did one at the weekend and, I, and I've got one starting next week. And I haven't even really pushed hard on the, the local physical group training yet I haven't done that one yet so that's that's something else on my to-do list so yes it's it's already started yeah and I'm so pleased for you I really really am so pleased for you um and I and I've already said this to you I mean not only just have you started to live the dream that you wanted to do 18 years ago that you do just in your own self look so much happier and, and everything you, you just I, really do yeah, I am so much happier because I now know I can do it. I can do it. You've, you've, give, you've given me the courage and the skills and, and the, the knowledge of what to follow. So I can do it. Uh, and so it's, it's now all down to me. And, and it, yeah, it's, it's me. It will happen. Excellent. Excellent. I'm so pleased, Jean. I can't wait to see your company grow because I know it's just going to go from strength to strength. And it's, it's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Anyway, Sharon, thank you so much. I know you're busy um, and I know you've got a lot of work to do. So I'll let you go. But thank you so much for taking time out to you're share welcome. your experiences and to show people that even after 18 years, you can make your dream finally start to happen. You can definitely go for it. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Thanks, Sharon. Take care. Okay. Bye. 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 Bye.